Hi, I'm Whitney Savannah Harris, and welcome to Arts and Action's episode on anti-bullying. We have so much for you today. We have kids that are going to act like they are a bully in a situation. We're going to have some kids and teens act like they are the victim. And we're also going to have some kids that are also in the middle of it all, where they don't realize they are being the bully. So this is a really good episode for you to watch today because we want to spread awareness of anti-bullying and we want to stop the hatred, stop the violence, and keep the peace. So today we have a wonderful works for you and we are very excited to show this to you today. So here it goes. Did you see how he was dressed? How he acted all the time in front of everyone? Like he was even ashamed. Like he thought we should just all accept him. Accept him like he was. Come on. You know what my dad would do if I, if I ever acted half as weird as that kid? He let me have it. That's what he'd do. He let me have it good. Because that, that's what you're supposed to do when people act the way they're supposed to. And you let them know it and how. I tried to. Try getting in his face. And you know who got in trouble? Me. That's right, me. Come on. Is that right? I wish I was like everyone else, but I'm not. So what do I do about it? Keep my head down? Hope they don't notice me? Because they will, you know. They'll notice you when you're different. The moment you walk into the room, you can see their nostrils widen. Their lips curl. They'd hurt you if they could. If they thought they'd get away with it. But they mostly avoid you. Or shrink away. Or make jokes. Ugly jokes. Because they're afraid. Isn't that it? As scared as I am of them. Aren't they scared of me? Because I'm different? My mother says manners are really important. And one thing she always says is, don't be contrary. People like it better when you agree. See what everybody else thinks and try to stick with that. That's just good manners to try and get along. That's why people like me. I go along. And my friends. People like my friends too. Not that we're a clique or anything. People just like us. That's all. Some people liked Audra, too, when she first came to school. Then one of our friends did it, and that was that. None of us did. But the guys did. Brandon especially. And everybody likes Brandon. He's a big deal. Only, he had a few tips with my friend Mindy, so when he started dating Audra, we all got mad. Then someone said we should get her back for stealing Brandon. Why don't kids like me? Everybody likes you, right? And you're funny looking. Well, you are. That's just the truth. Come on. No one's ever told you that? When nobody calls you toad mouth or hacks your webpage to show you with toads or snakes coming out of your mouth, what's that about anyway? You get, into, you get invited to parties. Think how that makes me feel. They'll invite you, but not me. Do you know how wrong that is? I think it's because I'm smarter. I can't help that. Or some of the other kids are stupid. It's not like we beat her up or anything. We put up a website with some jokes. That's all they were. Jokes. We never thought people would believe that stuff or start spreading it around or spray paint her car. We didn't do that. Don't blame us. I don't even know how it started, to tell you the truth. It's just like, I don't know. Someone got annoyed at her, and then someone else made a few jokes. And then someone, maybe me, I'm not saying it wasn't, I just don't remember, said it would be funny to put the jokes up online. I had this dream once, where I was invisible and I tripped, right there in the hallway, with everybody hurrying by. And they kept stepping on me. 
I'd cry out, but no one could even hear me. They just keep hurrying, hurrying on, stepping all over me. That's what school's been like for me. Now, this next part of Arts in Action, of this anti-bullying episode, I'm going to be the principal. And I'm going to have kids come on to the stage, and they're going to do a school testimonial based on a certain matter that took place yesterday at school. So the first actor that we're going to bring up today is Jasmine. Here she comes. So Jasmine, tell me, I heard something that occurred yesterday. And me as principal, a lot of things come onto my table, my office. Now, I heard yesterday that there was a group of girls, and you're one of the girls in the group, were talking to another girl. And there was words that were said, and I want to hear what you exactly said to her and what you feel now. I said she can get the part any she wants. I'm just letting her know, her know now I'm getting the part of Juliet. Oh, so that's what you told her. Okay, that's the information that I received on my desk today. All right, so letting us know this, how do you feel about what you exactly said to her yesterday? Do you take it back? Do you feel guilty? How do you feel? Good. All right, so you feel good. So with you feeling good, I want you to know that, that everyone who says certain things, there are things that will take place based on that situation. So Jasmine, I do want to say to you that saying that directly to her, we have to re-examine that because that tone and that way of saying that to her wasn't nice. Anybody can get a part, right? You know you can yes. get a part, you're very talented. She's very talented. So knowing that you both are very talented and that you're all both interested in auditioning for this Romeo and Juliet part, right, of Juliet, I want you to know that when you audition, you can get the part of Juliet or you can get the part of another character that will be a surprise to you. Don't you realize that? Yes. Good. So everyone is different, and everyone has their own special talents and gifts. So knowing that you have different talents and gifts, is it okay for her to audition? Yes. Very good. The case has been solved. Thank you very much. Let's keep the peace. Thank you, Jasmine. Very good. All right. So viewers, that was Jasmine. She demonstrated a student that said some words to another student. And she didn't really realize that she was being a bully. She thought she was fine with those words. But when it came to my office as principal, I had to really look at the situation. And then she decided on the air here that it wasn't nice to say. And I'm so proud that she turned the tables around. So now we know that she's going to apologize to the other girl and that anybody can audition for any role. Now I have another talent on the stage for our anti-bullying episode of Arts in Action. And her name is Maya. Hello, Maya. Hi. Now, me as principal, I received some information on my desk. And I heard that you were a talent, a student at our school, who said a couple of things to another student. Now, can you tell me what you said with your group of friends, what you exactly said? I said, I'll get the pie, Julia. And I said, What else did you say? Go ahead. I said, I'm sorry. I wish you your best for the audition. Okay. Wow. Well, that's really good to hear. So thank you for first saying what you exactly said to her. Now, are you saying that you're going to say sorry to her? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to definitely make that happen. I'm glad that you have another change of heart. And that's important, audience. It's important to kind of think about when you're upset, when you think you can't get something, to really regroup and just breathe and know that anybody can get anything. Just work hard and try hard and know that everyone is talented. So Maya, please tell me some of the things that you love to do. I love to play. What do you love to play? I love to play with Barbie. Nice. What do you love to do outside? I love to play at the park with the slides. 
Oh, that's very, very fun. Well, it shows that you're very fun and you, you love to do things indoor and outdoor. So Maya, don't give your hopes up. And just remember that you are very talented and you can do anything you want to do and others can do the same and everything will be good. Very good. Can you shake on that? Wonderful. Thank you, Maya. I have another talent. She is actually not the bully. She's actually the victim. And so we're going to hear her side of the story with these group of girls that came to her yesterday afternoon. So Journey, tell us what happened yesterday. Well, I was just um, practicing for the school audition and then she came in and then she said some stuff that I really mean and then I... Uh, wasn't that, I wasn't that very sad, but I was kind of. So what's one thing she said to you? Um, one of them said that I won't get the part. So you know that's not true, right? Yes. You can go for any part you want. You can be anything you want. So when sometimes when people say things like that, the reason why they say things like that is because they have a fear inside them. They think they're not good enough themselves. So there is that saying, hurt people hurt people. It is true. So when someone is negative towards you, it's not, it's not really you, it's actually them. So these girls being negative, they have doubt, they have fear, they think they can't get the part and they really know that she actually can. So, I'm glad that you're acknowledging what happened and about how you feel. How many girls um, were there yesterday? I think like four. It was four. Now, I heard that one of my staff members, one of my teachers came into the picture. What did the teacher do? Uh, he stopped us from being mean to each other. Very good. And he also gave me a letter. He said that you did nothing wrong and that he stopped them from the conversation because he knew that it was not going in the right direction. So I thank you for holding the peace, staying calm, and just letting the teacher handle the business. Because most importantly, everyone out there, if you're on the playground at recess or in the class, let the teacher handle it. That's their job, and I thank you for letting him do his job. Thank you very much, Journey. Thank you. So now we have another, another talent up here for the school testimonial, and her name is Avery. Now before we go to Avery, I must say that she is a student within the group that didn't realize that she was being a bully. And there are some people that are in groups that they don't wanna be a bully. They wanna be able to be other people's friends, not just one group. And so you're gonna hear her speak about what she said to Journey and about what she feels now. So take it away, Avery. How do you one feel? One time, wait. How do you feel? I heard I that you said- good. Oh, you feel good. Now what did you say to Journey? One time I said that she couldn't get the part of Juliet. Now she deserves to get the part of Juliet because she's really good at it. And I'm sorry that I, I bullied you all the time while you, while, you, while you couldn't get the part of Juliet. I'm so sorry. Do you accept her forgiveness, Journey? Wonderful. Well, Avery, thank you so much. She is demonstrating a perfect leader, a person that made a mistake, and she's being the leader by saying, you know, I'm sorry, and this is how I feel, and this is what I'm going to do about it. So, Avery, thank you so much for being that leader. You're also showing kids that you can be leaders at this age. We're all against bullying, and we're all about the positive. So thank you, Avery, for acknowledging that to Journey. Well done. Thank you. We have one last talent for our Arts in Action episode of Anti-Bullying. Now, before I bring this actor up, he's an actor that is demonstrating a person that can be a victim and a person that can be a bully, a potential bully. 
And so his piece is a little twist and turn when it comes to watching a friend of his or a so-called friend of his or a person at school. So check this out. If this is you today, I do want you to make a change as well. So check this out. This is going to be Chase. Here's what I figured out. Everyone's got a weak spot. Something they hope that no one will notice. Me, I know this, but I don't always talk about it. Sometimes, just enough to let them know I could talk about it, but that's for the dangerous ones, the ones that could hurt me. Some I'm not afraid of. Them I talk about. They're my examples. It's for instance, Buster, who's everyone's afraid of. He just sees a doctor, a special kind of doctor. Do you know what kind? No, I just I just know his office is by the cupcake shop, the pricey one downtown. One day, my mother went to there and left me in the car. Who do I see? Buster being dropped off at the building next door. But there was only doctors. I checked, mine doctors mostly. So a few weeks later, out of the blue, he starts on me. What's your problem? I say. Those cupcakes got you wild. Cupcakes? What the? You know, the price you want downtown. You should have seen his face. Dead white. Now, part of our Arts in Action episode on anti-bullying, we're going into a movement piece. This movement piece will represent a lot of things that are happening in today's times. There are kids that are being bullied. There are family members wondering, where's my sister or where's my brother? There are some people that are, don't know what group that they want to be friends with at, at school, whether it be elementary or middle school or high school. Where do they turn? Where do they go to? What path do they take? There's a lot of that happening. And there's a lot of loving yourself, knowing who you are, but then it all gets kind of turned upside down when you go into a certain group of friends that you think are your friends, or maybe they're not. So this is a good lesson learned type of movement piece that we're gonna present to you right now. Here it goes. Thank you. 